On today's episode, I want to bring out our special guest tonight. Can you guys welcome Deborah, my little champion? <laughs> Isn't he? I didn't need hearing aids for that one. Kids in Faith, we're at VBS 2024. Have we had a good time? Yes! We've had so much fun. Y'all have been so good. But tonight, we're going to continue with our lessons this week because not only have we done games, we've done music for all the kids that are watching. We do a big dessert. We do big dinner. We do so much around here. And in one night, we pack in so much and we do it for how many nights? Five nights of Kids in Faith VBS. And this year, what is our theme? Who can tell me our theme? Danny Lee. Warrior. Warrior week, right? Like, like American Ninja Warriors, but we are warriors with our faith, aren't we? Okay, so uh, tonight we've got who? Andy! Andy and Grandma! Hey, everybody! Andy, what have you been doing this week? Well, you know, there's been so many new people hanging around. Me and Grandpa have had some company. Oh, yeah? And what, what kind of company? Have you been with the younger kids or the older kids? A little bit of both. You know, Grandpa's been trying to teach the older kids, but you know how that goes. Grandpa, I've got how a lot they... of wisdom to pass down. <laughs> so they're doing well, Grandpa. Uh, sure, they're thriving. So tonight, we have a very special guest besides Andy and Grandpa. You're always our most special guests, aren't they? Aren't they? Yes, yes, clap. Give it up for Andy and Grandpa. They're always, always our most special guests that we have with us. They've been with us for a whole year. It's official, a whole year. And we should make you like a special dinner or something. Yeah, I think so. Except for Grandpa's food, you're going to have to blend it all up because he's not good with solid foods these days. <laughs> yeah, well, you know. What's your favorite blend, Grandpa? Mm, steak and peas. Who oh, likes yeah. peas? Get them together. Couple you like peas? Okay, all right. Who likes steak? Yeah, yeah. Who likes steak in the blender? What? <laughs> Who wants steak in a blender? Jay, so uh, he goes. Ugh. Nope. He had to think about that for a second. Okay, uh, Andy, what is your favorite meal? Well, you know, uh, ziti today was pretty good. <gasps> I snuck a little bit of that. Did you guys like the ziti? The baked ziti, yes, that was so good. That was good. Uh, what else, did you have any salad? Yeah, not so much on the salad or the carrots, you know, but uh, yesterday, man, that pizza and the grapes, oh man. Who like? Who says pizza is their favorite food? I'm raising my hand too, I like pizza. I love pizza. All right, hold on real quick. I wanna bring out our special guest tonight. Can you guys welcome Deborah and, oh, y'all were so excited. Deborah, and I want her to introduce her friend that she brought with her. Come on, Deborah. Hello! <laughs> My little champions! <laughs> Woo! All right, where's Deborah's team? Raise your hand. We're champions! 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 Yes! And do you want to know the special guest who is our number one champion who led the army Barack hey, let's go. Woo! mighty okay so Deborah listen Deborah what is is what in the Bible she was described as a prophetess okay a prophetess that terms used very loosely these days um so if anybody approaches you and says that's what they are just 
you know, take that, put it in your back pocket. But she was legitimately a prophetess. Yes. And there was, I believe, 12 prophets. And out of all the 12, there was only one woman. Say one. One. It was Deborah. And God gave the word to Deborah because there was an enemy army. You know, the only way I can compare it, how many of you have brothers and sisters? Yep. How many of you, when you're at home and you're in your room and a brother or a sister comes in and starts taking your stuff? (gasps) Does that ever happen to you kids? Oh, I I mean, I'm just hearing a a resounding, like this is a, a problem. This is a real issue. Yes. This is serious. We need to probably pass a new bill and a law or something. How many of you get really frustrated yep. when they start yes. taking it? Because it's like, <laughs> look at Grace. She got both hands up. She <laughs> goes, well, you're going to have to take it before the Lord. So put your hands down because this is what was happening to God's people. Now, God's people had not been living right. Say living right. Uh, living right. Living right. God had given them some rules and some ways that they needed to live right before him to honor him. And they were dishonoring him. They weren't living right. And another enemy came in and began to uh, really bother them and try to take their stuff. And so Deborah, she heard from God and Barak was the one that was Uh, He really was ordained to lead the army, but I'm going to tell you the difference between Barak and Deborah. Deborah had faith in God, but Barak had faith in Deborah. Are we supposed to have faith in man or in God? God? In God. In God. So God was with Deborah and she heard from God and gave the instruction and she had the faith, even though she didn't go out and fight herself, she had the faith that she believed God was going to keep his people and fight for his people and fight with his people. And so Barak said, I will go out and lead the army if Deborah, you go with me. But this is what we're supposed to do and how we're supposed to be. We say, God, I will go and do what you asked me to do, but you have to, excuse me, but you have to be with me. Yes. Should we go out and try to live by faith and believe in someone else or should we believe in God? In God. God. All the time. So we see that Deborah was, remember, say strong. Strong. She was strong. Okay, Dave, good job. Everybody gets a star. Everybody yes. gets a star. Wow. Yes. Listen, Woo-hoo. she was, David was, member strong in worship, but Deborah, she was strong in faith. She was strong in faith. All of her, say her heart. Her heart. Her heart. Say my heart. My heart. My heart. Faith is of the heart. You don't believe with your mind. You believe with your heart. You turn and you can quiet and stop thinking and turn towards your heart and God will talk to you. Well, Deborah didn't have Jesus in her heart like we have today because Jesus hadn't come yet. But Deborah, she had faith in God. No matter what she believed, God was going to protect his people and fight alongside them. And Barak said, I can't can't go and do this, Deborah, without right. you. So Deborah was the only woman that was a prophet in that day, and she heard the word of the Lord and say she was strong. Strong. She was strong. Because she had faith in her heart. Faith in her heart. Say, I'm strong. I'm, I'm strong. strong. When I have faith in my heart. When I have, I have faith, faith in, in my, my heart. heart. So she believed, there's a scripture that says, be strong in the Lord and then the power of yes. his might. And he will grant your petition. smart one. Come on now. Take up an offering for Grant. Aw. So be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Deborah didn't look and go, okay, I'm going to be strong because we have a good army. I'm going to, we're strong because we have smart people. Did you know being smart doesn't make you strong? Yeah. Right. 
No, you've got to have God's words and God's wisdom inside of you. So say, I'm strong. I'm strong, strong in faith. In, in faith. faith. So Deborah, what was it like out there? You know, You're with all the men. Uh, all the men, but when God speaks to you, that's it. So I, it didn't matter if it was all women or all men. We only had some thousands in our army. They had over 900 iron chariots. They were like triple our army, but it didn't matter. Hey, because hey, I had faith in my heart. Grandpa, didn't you have a chariot one time? Uh, sure, yeah. Remember that? Or was that a horse trough that you uh, attached uh, yeah. reins and... Oh, right. Yeah, that that was um, classic barnyard antics. <laughs> <laughs> His chariots look a little different these days. <laughs> yeah, what does it have? Two wheels? Two it wheels and someone pushing it. Got it, got it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so, so we understand what she said. They have... Do y'all know what a chariot is? Anybody know what a chariot is? A chariot is this big iron, uh, uh, it's round on the front, has wheels on the bottom, and men get in it, stand in it, and the horses pull them really fast, and they can come out with their swords. They can come out and just run everybody over. Scary. And so when Deborah looks out, and Barak looks out, and they see these iron chariots, but who's greater than iron chariots? God is. God is God. greater. She wasn't deterred, and because she wasn't distracted and didn't look to what the armies look like, she could look at God and know no matter what they have, God is greater on the yes. inside. Yes, God is true. greater for us, okay? Yes. Barrick, what else? What What was your take on the, the situation? So I was a little scared at first, but I knew that Deborah had been talking to God recently. Mm -hmm. So I said, Deborah, will you come with me? Because I know that God guy, he kind of protects you and stuff. So maybe he can lend me a little protection. So she came with me and it ended up okay. We're yep. all alive. So. Yep. so what happened in the middle of the, uh, in the middle of the fight? Craziness. Yeah. Yeah. It was, it was crazy, but the leader Sisera of their army, he was a mighty, mighty warrior. He was even more popular than this guy, right? And he was bigger and stronger. Everybody uh, knew that's him. That's debatable. Yeah, but Everybody God knew. was on our side, and when we, Beric led that army out, he got so scared that Sisera took off running. Yeah. Yep. He ran away. Mm -hmm. And do you want to tell him what happened, or you want me to? You can go ahead. That's so good. listen, Sisera's running, right? And he's like, I'm getting out of here. Well, there was a lady, because God said, Sisera's going to die. And I said, really, God? She said, yeah. And it's going to be by a woman. What? I thought, well, not by me, Jesus. Not by me, Lord. So listen, listen. A yeah. woman's leading the army and is hearing from God. And then the other army, the leader of that, is going to die by a woman. I, I, I said, okay, Ooh, Lord. our time to shine. Yeah. <laughs> I said, okay, Lord. So when Sisera's running, he's running away. He's trying to hide. There was a woman named Jael that God sent. And she had a big tent. And she saw him coming. And she knew that he was a wicked leader. And she That's said, right. come here, come here, Sisera. Come, come. I have a tent. You can lay here. I'll get you some water. And you can sleep. And if the other army comes or Barrett comes, I'll let them know I have not seen you. Sisera says, thank you so much. And so he runs in the tent and he drinks the water and, and he's so tired that he just, he, he falls off to sleep. When he goes to sleep, JL grabs a nail and, go, 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 go! and kills him in his sleep and delivers his body to Barak and the army. That's what happened. True story. Just True like story. God said. Wow. True story. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. Cow. And Gone. just like that, God took care of his people and got rid of the enemy. Did you know, listen here, and we'll close up with this, that God, when Jesus, how many of you know Jesus died on the cross for you? Yeah, yes. he came, but he didn't, listen, he didn't just come to die for you. He came to defeat our enemy. Who is our enemy? The devil. The devil. Other people are not our enemy. The devil is our enemy. And he came to defeat the devil. Yes. And you know how he did it? 
just like that. He didn't have to work and fight and labor. Once Jesus said, I have paid the price for my people, he rose up in hell, kicked the devil in his head, and the power of God raised him out of hell. And because he was raised, when we receive Jesus, we get raised up with him. We have new life on the inside. We become greater on the inside. And God fights for us every single time, okay? So what do we have to do to understand when we face hard things in life that God fights for us? We must have faith in our our heart, Deborah had faith in her heart and she had heard from God. So faith comes by hearing and because she heard from God, she had faith and it says she was strong, say strong, strong, strong. in faith. In faith. In faith. So we can be strong, strong through worship, through through worship. worship. and we can be strong, strong. in faith. Faith in, faith in our heart, right? Yep. So it really matters. Uh, what do y'all think about those those women, uh, Grandpa? Uh, I always knew they were capable of such violence. <laughs> <laughs> Not his first run in with something like that. Let me tell you. Oh, oh no. okay. that's a pretty good story though. That's better than the ones Grandpa usually tells me. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. That's one of my favorite Bible stories I've heard so far. Grandpa. Oh, gosh, I'm hiding the nails after this. <laughs> Grandpa, I don't think you have to be afraid around here because all the the women here, we all we all love you. We want to take care of you. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Grandpa has a short memory, anyways. Oh, he'll forget about this story tomorrow. Yeah. Okay, so Grandpa's gonna forget about this story, but how about we come back tomorrow? Yes. And we have another story yeah, and, and oh, with yeah. kids in faith. Can y'all come back tomorrow? Yes. 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 How about you guys? Can you come back tomorrow? Yes. 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 So tomorrow we'll have another guest. Andy and Grandpa will be back to hear our stories. And y'all will be back and we'll all be here and we're gonna have a great time. How about that? So we're str- Let's do our our two, how we're strong. Strong in worship and we're strong Strong in faith. faith. Let's wrap up today's episode. Everybody say bye, kids and faith. Bye, kids and faith. Hey, kids and faith. Did you know that kids and faith has their own merchandise? Go to the Frame Ministries online store to get your hats, totes, and shirts. Hey, kids and faith. Uh, we have a YouTube channel that we want you to check out, the Kids in Faith YouTube channel. And go, no. make sure make sure to subscribe. <laughs> yeah, make sure to subscribe. <laughs> hey, Kids in Faith, make sure to subs- subscribe. Hey, there you go. <laughs> hey, Kids in Faith. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) All right, Kids in Faith, we have our own YouTube channel. Make sure to go check it out, Kids in Faith. Make sure to (laughs) six. Hey, Kids in Faith, we have a YouTube channel. We want you to check it out. Make sure to subscribe to watch more videos.